the important concept for our politics now is the concept of equality. Political philosophers have written about equality from both the left and the right, from the liberal position and the conservative position, as if it was perfectly clear what equality means. Equality means everybody has the same of something as everybody else. Everybody has the same bank account wealth, or everyone has the same happiness, or everyone achieves the same success in life. These are all theories that you will find in the philosophical literature. And generally, as soon as someone offers a theory of that kind, equality means everybody has the same amount of money, it will follow that equality is not a very compelling ideal. So I want to start rather differently. I want to start with a general account of political obligation of what a state in particular owes to its citizens and see what conception of equality follows from understanding politics at that deep level. Coercive government, and that means all government of anything larger than the Carnegie Council, <laughs> coercive government needs a justification that explains why it isn't a terminal insult to human dignity to force somebody to do what he thinks wrong, as, of course, government must do. I argue that government lacks title, lacks moral title to coerce unless it respects the dignity of its subjects. And I argue for a theory of dignity that comes to this. There is a basic condition of political legitimacy no government is legitimate unless it meets that condition. Government must treat each and every person over whom it claims dominion with an equal concern and an equal respect. An equal concern means, I argue, that social policy must take the fate of each individual to be equally important with the fate of any other. So when deciding on a political policy, it can't discount the effect on some citizens. Obviously, it can't do that because of their race, but it can't do that because of their economic class either. Equal respect is a rather different requirement. Equal respect means that government must respect the dignity of each individual by allowing each individual to determine for himself or herself what would count as a good life, what counts as a successful life. That doesn't mean that we should be skeptical about that fundamental ethical question. It means that our idea of the good life includes, as a cardinal condition, that a good life means facing this question for yourself and arriving with conviction and living a life according to that conviction. If I'm right, a theory of equality, say economic equality, must once again solve simultaneous equations. It must reach an economic distribution which at once treats everyone's fate with equal concern and respects people's responsibility to make their own decisions. That cannot be done by achieving flat equality. It can't be done by running the community as a monopoly game in which all the money gets taken in and redistributed at the end of each year. It can't do that because that would be to make 
individual decisions about education, investment, leisure, completely pointless. On the other hand, government can't just say, we'll have a market, and wherever the market ends, we'll, we will consider equal treatment. Because people who are disabled, or people who do not have the talent to make what the market demands, will suffer, and they'll suffer <coughs> in ways that are no, have nothing to do with the choices they made, have nothing to do with their own responsibility. How do we solve this simultaneous equation? How do we treat people both with equal concern and respect equally their responsibility to make decisions for themselves? Thank you.